As we begin another week now practicing social distancing in our efforts to fight the virus, a group of women are taking it another step, stitching what you might call much needed armor for those who are on the front lines. New specialist Garna Mejia has the story from Moab. Doctors here in Moab, like many across the country, are facing a growing shortage of medical supplies as the coronavirus pandemic continues to permeate throughout communities. But in the middle of this unprecedented crisis, a unique set of individuals are showing us the silver lining. We're learning how to work in a sweatshop. We'll call it a sweatshop with appropriate social distancing. But the distance isn't stopping these women from safely rolling up their sleeves. This old sewing machine has been put away for 20 years. On Tuesday, Tammy Norman found out the doctors at Moab Regional Hospital are rationing their face masks because they won't be getting their next shipment until August. By that evening, we had two or three different prototypes. They dusted off their sewing machines, enlisted a small army, and even made an instructional video. People come in and they spread it out, and then a different person picks up. On Friday, when they found out gowns were also running low, they started making those as well. Monday, they're expecting to not have enough gowns here. So far, they've made over 70 face masks and 40 gowns. I have received calls from Pennsylvania, Meridian, Idaho, all over the country of people that are excited to help. And at first we say, check your community first. They'll send them to the hospital, first responders, assisted living homes, and even Meals on Wheels. They didn't receive them sanitized. We can't do that. But the hospital and our police department have a way to sanitize them when they get it. You know, that out support, outpouring of support we've had is just uh, truly remarkable. Moab Regional Hospital hasn't seen their first COVID-19 case, but Chief Medical Officer Dr. Dylan Cole says it's only a matter of time before his staff is also on the front lines of this pandemic. That's so necessary for healthcare workers to protect themselves and also to not be a vector of further transmission of this illness. It's how each small stitch becomes part of a larger labor of love for these women. This is bringing hope. People in town have been afraid and have been frustrated and scared and we take them elastic and when they're done cutting a roll of elastic, their fear's gone. Now, Dr. Cole says there are more ways that you can help by contacting your elected officials and asking them to immediately increase the supply of much-needed medical equipment. In Moab, Garna Mejia, KSL 5 News.